Welcome to another San Francisco 49ers news video, dear fan. Right now, I want to count on your support, so please subscribe to the channel to not miss any updates. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell to stay updated. Last Sunday, the Super Bowl thrilled millions of viewers worldwide, but a surprising turnaround left 49ers fans in shock. If it weren't for the masterful performance of Chiefs star Patrick Mahomes, the final result could have been different. The game, played point by point, reached overtime, where the 49ers and the Chiefs battled intensely for the title. The 49ers were seconds away from securing victory, but Mahomes, known for his exceptional skills, didn't allow that to happen. With incredible plays and an impressive game reading, Mahomes led the Chiefs back into the competition and, at a crucial moment, executed a spectacular play resulting in the decisive touchdown. This unexpected comeback left 49ers fans bewildered and Chiefs fans ecstatic. Sports experts now debate how the Super Bowl outcome would have been if Mahomes hadn't played such a crucial role in overtime. Some argue that the 49ers were steps away from glory, while others highlight Mahomes' resilience and mastery, once again proving himself as one of the league's best players. Regardless of the perspective, one thing is certain. This year's Super Bowl will be remembered as one of the most thrilling and unpredictable in history thanks to Patrick Mahomes' exceptional performance, securing the Kansas City Chiefs' victory and frustrating the 49ers' hopes in the final minutes of overtime. Losing a Super Bowl always hurts. For the San Francisco 49ers, losing 25-22 to the Kansas City Chiefs in overtime on Sunday will be more painful than most. It will leave a lifetime of what-ifs. If not for Jake Moody's missed extra point. If not for Harrison Butker's 57-yard field goal. If not for a kick bouncing off Daryl Luter Jr.'s heel. If not for Dre Greenlaw's injury. If not for a fumble recovery leap. If not for abandoning the run in the third quarter. If not for a bizarre fourth-quarter defensive plan. If not for choosing to receive the ball first in overtime. If not for Patrick Mahomes. Most Super Bowls are decided by narrow margins. Luck always plays a role. But even by typical standards, Sunday's game was something different. Squint hard enough and the Niners are champions today, mapping out their parade route. Instead, they are the NFL's almost team, a supporting character in the Chiefs' dynastic story. There are no right words at the moment, said Niners coach Kyle Shanahan after the game. It hurts. This should have been their time and that's what will hurt the most. The Chiefs were flawed contenders with a fragile offense supported by one of the league's best defenses. Jump to an early lead and the game is there to be won. And they jumped. In the first quarter, San Francisco's defense, which had diminished throughout the season, was at its stifling best. When they needed big plays to get the Chiefs' offense off the field, San Francisco's pass rush hit home. They kept the Chiefs to three points before Usher had time to skate onto the stage for the halftime show. Above all, the 49ers got the game they wanted from Brock Purdy. Balanced, accurate, and playing his role as a playmaker, Purdy looked comfortable on the biggest stage in his sport. For long stretches, the second-year starter was the calmest person on the field. He was dynamite in the first quarter of the game, completing eight of his ten passes to six different receivers. And he remained composed as the game tightened in the fourth quarter and overtime. He executed crucial downs, including a crucial completion on fourth down to George Kittle and a touchdown pass to Joan Jennings with pressure in his face. If you had told the Niners before Sunday that they would get an error-free game from Purdy, they would have started measuring their fingers for rings. It wasn't enough. Yes, the Chiefs had a dose of luck. They recovered six of the seven fumbles in the game. They stayed healthy while Niners players went in and out of the injury tent. Guess who else had luck? Every team that has ever won a championship. But when the game was on the line, talent, scheme, and championship know-how took over. Kansas City leaned on the four pillars, Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Coach Andy Reid, and defensive coordinator Steve Spagnolo. All four provided decisive moments in the game. On the other side of the field, when they needed it most, the Niners froze. When Shanahan recalls this game, his mind will be drawn to both the third quarter and its culmination. With the opportunity to put Christian McCaffrey on the line of scrimmage and control the flow of the game, Shanahan turned to Purdy. The Chiefs stacked the box and challenged Shanahan to put the Super Bowl in Purdy's hands. Shanahan took the bet. In the first 11 plays of the third quarter, the Niners threw the ball 10 times in a single attempt to run. They gained three yards, coughed up the ball once, and didn't convert a single first down. Purdy played well overall, but the stretch of the third quarter allowed the Chiefs to adjust and get back into the game. Mahomes is indeed inevitable. But the Niners had a chance to be out of sight before the Chiefs' quarterback and his receivers had a chance to establish a rhythm late in the game. In a sport that thrives on hope and unpredictability, Mahomes is a shining constant. 
At some point, from somewhere, he would find the plays to put points on the board. As soon as Mahomes started to accelerate, the Niners' defense blinked. They managed to pressure Mahomes with four pass rushers in the first half but adopted a blitz-oriented strategy in the second half when the cheeks began to tighten and Steve Wilkes, the team's defensive coordinator, opted to put on his comfortable blanket. Mahomes devoured it all. While the Chiefs' team rose to the occasion, the Niners' team spent the early second half blinking and allowing Mahomes and company back into the game. You'll start to hear and read everywhere, Shanahan is a fraud. He's a choker. Stories write themselves. Shanahan has overseen three Super Bowl offenses that generated double-digit leads. He's the only coach to lose two Super Bowls in overtime. He is now firmly entrenched in the Marv Levy zone, the innovative coach accumulating regular season and playoff victories but unable to overcome the hurdle in the big one. Legacies, careers, lives depend on the jump of a fumble or the swing of a kicker's leg. You want to win for that kind of guy, said Brock Purdy about Shanahan after the game. It sucks for the coach. That's why I hurt. What's worse, everything was entirely predictable. Shanahan is an excellent coach, one of the most prominent architects of the modern game. But he has a tendency to overthink things in big situations. His game management can be sloppy. Despite all his schematic magic, games start slipping away from him in the most crucial moments. He's always looking for the perfect technical answer, rather than the right one. When games get tight, the best coaches think about the players, not the plays. After a slow first half, the Chiefs handed their offense to the artistry of Mahomes and Kelsey. The Niners, on the other hand, took the ball away from Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle, the team's world-class tight end, had only one catch in the first three quarters. Purdy completed only four of 12 pass attempts in the second and third quarters combined, a period when the Niners should have been shoving McCaffrey down KC's throat. By the time the Niners' offense rediscovered its charm, Mahomes and company found their own rhythm. And yet, the Niners had a chance. They added three points in overtime after opting to receive the kick. But with three losses and needing a touchdown to win, there are Mahomes, Kelsey, and Reed in their happy place. Leave the door ajar, and they'll find a way to slip through. Where the Niners go from here is a complicated question. In Purdy, they have the best value contract at the most important position in sports. But a salary cap crisis is imminent, and several of their key contributors are about to peak. Bouncing back from a nauseating Super Bowl loss is one thing, there hasn't been a team that has risen from the mat after two. Measuring a team solely by rings is a flawed way to assess success. Shanahan and the Niners are a few plays away from being two-time champions, sparking rumors of their dynasty. But they ran into Mahomes' circular saw first in Miami at Super Bowl 54 and then in Las Vegas on Sunday and earned a place as Carl Malone's jazz to Michael Jordan's Bulls. History tells us that even the strongest cores have only one or two chances, at most, to win a title unless they have the greatest quarterback of all time in their backfield. This Niners core had two shots and failed. This was their best chance yet. A third might be asking too much. Now I want to hear your opinion, dear fan. Leave your comment as it's important for my work. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated.